Right about now, man. And we got some more popping. We bring exactly what you're wanting more often. The whole team's feeding to watch your jaw drop. This is World TV, and we got you all watching. Yeah, my wrestling. I started wrestling when I was six. My, my father, he was a wrestling coach, you know, and uh, I was six times national national wrestling champion. I done it for a really long time, so I keep I keep working from from what I know and trying to improve on my stand up and jujitsu now. I still I still do a lot of wrestling on the wrestling classes in London Shoot because they got a couple of couple of good Polish fellas coming down, train with us. They national champions as well, and and they pretty decent, you know. So. That, that's why I like London Shoot because they haven't got just like big heavyweights, MMA names like Mustafa Turgut, James Thompson, and all that. They got they got some guys, but no one really know about them. But they don't do MMA; they just do them wrestling. And wrestling is obviously in England, like you said, not that popular. But they are amazing training partners, you know. So, so I keep working on my wrestling really hard because that that's to be honest, that's how I win all my fights. You know, just put them on the back foot, take them down. With some with some good takedown and ground and pound them, so I want to stick to it. So people saying they know my style, uh, how do I fight? If it's a bad thing for me or a good thing for me, you know what? I, I don't really care. People people always said it after my first fight, second fight, third fight. I had eight fights and I, and I done the same thing, and no one was able to stop it so far. So why would I change something in my training when I come with with? whatever uh, combination and just take them down and ground and pound them or choke them and keep them there and just keep working on my aggressive style and taking them down I don't want to change nothing that's my game plan I, I, I train like that I, you know if they if they think they know my uh, my fight style are they gonna be able to stop it you know when one day someone stop it then I think about it because I always got plan B you know but so far that's, I think, is a, a very big plus for me because people think they know my style. I do always the same thing, but no one saw my plan B. So if they're gonna be able to stop it, how do they? How do they know what they're gonna do next? Uh, lots of people saying I was getting my fights in England easy. I was walking through my opponents easy, but they forgot in one thing. I never choose my opponents. I was always fighting who they put in front of me. You can ask everyone knows David Donald and all that. He, he likes to bring good fights. I fought for him once and we was trying to get fight with Daniel Grow. It just it just never never happened for whatever reasons. And so I was never choosing my opponents, you know, I proved it when I was fighting Staff Economy. And just because I beat him easy, it, it, it don't mean I had an easy opponents, you know. I, I still believe Staff Economy was one of the best heavyweights. He just proved it he in my eyes he beat Neil Grove. And they give it, give it a draw, whatever it was, it was a hard fight for Neil Grove and I basically destroyed him, I went right through him, everything what I did, I don't think I had, I had, uh, I got punched once in the fight, uh, my biggest hurt from the fight, I broke my hand by hitting him because he's a tough boy, he got really good chin and he can take a lot and, but I won the fight, I won the fight in, in all suspects, in the stand up, I took him down, ground and pound him and tap him, you know, and all the opponents before or my last fight on the ultimate challenge with Peter Yandel, you know, he's training with Ian Freeman, you know, all his guys, one of uh, Ian Freeman guys, he was fighting last fight, uh, Ben Smith, you know, all these guys, they are big guys and, and they are serious about it because Ian Freeman, he's a legend, you know, he would not, uh, I don't believe he would put any guys in the ring where they're not ready, you know, so because I was going through them easy, that was because I was training hard, I was really training hard and I was fighting easy and, and People are always gonna say something. If you keep losing, they 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 they're gonna cast you down, and if you keep winning easy, they're gonna cast you down as well. Now I'm fighting in the UFC, and I got John John Madison in front of me. He's undefeated. He's five and zero. He he beat one of the best British heavyweights, Mustafa Turk, and I'm training so hard. I believe I go through him easy as well. And then I don't know what people are gonna say. And again, it was easy fight, and people always got something to say. And you know, as soon as I keep winning, I, I don't. I don't care if I'm winning easy or hard, you know. People saying I'm maybe not fit enough, that's why I'm winning the first round. I said, oh, well, hold on a minute. Don't matter how fit I am, I always want to win in the first round. And I'm fit to go for all three rounds. And I will have a chance to prove it in UFC very soon because there is going to come some tough opponents and some proper challenge. And, and yeah, I'll be, I'll be fighting good. I'm, I'm definitely ready for, for the standards over there. Right. 
the question come up again about James McSweeney. I'm, I'm tired of it to be honest because, I mean, people probably want want to see me fight James McSweeney. I, I don't know why because in, he, he's a decent fighter. He's he, he's okay and and he's been cussing me on the internet and and all that. I don't take much notice of it. People say this and say that. It's, what I want to say, he's in UFC now, he had this shot, he, apparently he just lost his last fight, I didn't even see it, you know, but I think James McSweeney is not the greatest fight for me. He, he, he's obviously a good fighter, but he got too many losses. I'm an upcoming fighter, I got eight wins and zero losses, and if I'm going to... I got my next fight in UFC, and, and I honestly believe I'm going to win, and if I'm going to win, fight between me and James McSweeney wouldn't happen anyway, because he lost his last fight, and... If I remember rightly, UFC, the way they work, they always put together winners, you know, if somebody lose and somebody win, they never put them together, so I don't even think about the Zilli fight, James McSweeney, you know, it's maybe because I'm going to UFC, I'm going to keep winning, so maybe one day when he proves himself and going to start winning as well, all his fights, you know, we, we meet one day, but it's not my priority, you know, I, I really want to get a big fight in UFC, I want to get a big shot, so if I, if I will fight, James McSweeney, you know, I mean, I only can lose because if I would lose to him, you know, I mean, it would it would look bad on my record. And if I beat him, well, who did I beat? James McSweeney, you know, what I mean, <laughs> everyone beat him. Neil Grove beat him, Mustafa Artek beat him, loads of people beat him, you know. For me, the fight with John Madsen is much better. No one's really beat him in his professional record. He's five and zero. That's the guy what I wanna beat. You know, I wanna beat people what they've been unbeating before. Like Stav Ekonomu, he was nine and zero when he faced me and, and I did like it. I take it from him, you know. I got nothing to take from General Spini. I don't wanna fight him. Uh, find not much about Joe Madsen. Um not really. You, you know I mean I always study the opponents but I, I don't go too crazy about it. You know, I got I got my fight style, I got my my game plan and I always stick to it. I, I just think John Madsen is a really good fight for me because he's not exactly a striker, he's, he's coming from wrestling background and so, so do I. I'm quite confident about my, my wrestling background so I would be very, very upset if he could beat me in the skills because I don't think he can. And so because he's going to try to fight in a similar style as me, you, you know, I, I think I'll be, I'll be able to beat him very easy, you know, so because in the wrestling skills I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat him, I'm gonna hopefully take him down and keep him there, you know, so that's all what I know, I know he, he likes to change his fight stance, like switching from the right, right to the left, but it don't really bother me as well, you, you know, so my, my stand up improved a lot since I'm in London Shoot Fighters, you know, my wrestling always have been good, so yeah, good fight for me, good fight for me, he's undefeated, He's five and zero, and and he's a wrestler. Yeah, that's that's people that I want to fight. Well, July the third uh, is a big opportunity for me. I'm I'm going to Vegas fight on the UFC 116. I'm fighting on a big card, like Wanda Silva is fighting on the card, and the main event is a Brock Lesnar and Shane Carvin. You know, they are two massive heavyweights. It's one of the biggest heavyweight fights whatever happened on UFC, and I'm on the same card, so. All world is gonna be watching out for the heavyweights. So I got very good opportunity to to prove and to show people I'm I'm any I'm any good, you know. And I destroyed the opponent, but basically no 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 yo yo Oh for fuck's sake No Oh these people they they're always making more dirty than, than it is <laughs> Should we do it again? <laughs>